Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next fishing tourney as well as wave two of the Sanrio crossover. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just before we start to celebrate the release of Dr. Mario World, three new tees have been sent out to mailboxes, so make sure you log in to grab those if you haven't already. But swiftly moving on, right now we are coming to the end of the latest Gyrodite scavenger hunt with less than a day to complete the event. It's been a tough one with the time limited Hello Kitty shirts and amenities available to craft, kickstarting the Sanrio crossover. But before we get into the next wave of Sanrio goodness, we have the final event of this month's Vacation Memory Medley. Starting in the next couple of days, the 16th fishing tourney will begin down at Saltwater Shores. As always, Chip will most likely host the event on the hunt for all new sparkling fish and offering up time-limited prizes. Unfortunately, Nintendo have been encrypting their recent updates, so we don't know the official names just yet, but some of the fish available during the event include the shark, the hammerhead shark, and finally the scarier looking swordfish. Of course, just like all previous tourneys, there are all new prizes up for grabs for netting these fish. Some of the prizes included appear to be a water gun, a mini fountain, a green rubber ring, a blue rubber ring, a green inflatable ball, a blue inflatable ball, a shark headpiece, and finally, pink, blue and yellow inflatable whale-like pool toys, perfect for any poolside summer vacation. As mentioned, Nintendo are now encrypting updates, so it's getting harder to determine 100% what each item is. The good news though is fish tanks are also back, and we can now win shark tanks, hammerhead tanks, and swordfish tanks, which is cool. As always, prizes are earned based on the collective length of the fish we catch, so the more we catch, the more prizes we can earn. Wooden, bronze, silver and gold trophies will likely return as well as new happy homeroom classes and of course the golden fishing rod will be available to hire for the duration of the event should you want to splash out 80 leaf tickets and guarantee catching twice as many fish. The fishing tourney will wrap up this month's seasonal event but the Sanrio crossover has only just begun. Also arriving later this week is wave 2 of the Sanrio crossover including new villager maps, a new premium collection and of course two new Sanrio cookies. Wave 2 villagers include Marty and Chelsea, which is awesome and bring with them their respective shirts and villager pictures and as before will be obtained through Golds and Blathers treasure treks. The second Sanrio Premium Collection includes the Pom Pom Purin Backpack, the My Melody Backpack, the Pom Pom Purin Wall and Flooring and the My Melody Wall and Flooring items. I'm not sure why but just like the Hello Kitty and Cinema Roll items, these have been taken from their respective cookies in favour of being crafted. My only guess is that no one wants to get duplicate walls and flooring items from cookies, so I guess that's quite handy. And finally, the second batch of Sanrio cookies include the Pom Pom Purin cookie and the My Melody cookie. Some of the items available from the Pom Pom Purin cookie include the Pom Pom Purin chair, the Pom Pom Purin bed, the Pom Pom Purin stool and bookcase, the Pom Pom Purin dessert, the Pom Pom Purin outfit and hat, and finally the Pom Pom Purin couch, which will be the five star item. Some of the items available from the My Melody cookie include the My Melody table, the My Melody bed and dresser, the My Melody rocking chair and wall clock, the My Melody outfit, the My Melody hat and finally the My Melody couch which again will be the 5 star item. Of course this is only wave 2 of 3 Sanrio crossover collections with 2 more villages, a 3rd premium collection and 2 more cookies coming in early August so there's a lot to look forward to there. Now to wrap up this month's seasonal event, Katrina's fortune telling tent will be available to craft later this week. This special item will replace Timmy and Tommy's golden harps that expire in 4 days. Finally, Julia's palace cookie is the final set of items to be added before a new season begins. Again, we don't have the official names unfortunately, but some of the items introduced look to include a palace dress, a palace hat, a palace column and fountain, a palace rug and vase collection, a second palace collection, a palace chest and bed, and finally a palace magic carpet. I've probably guessed some of these completely wrong, but they look pretty awesome nevertheless. So yeah, as always, more content than ever to look forward to over the next week or so. So yeah, that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing Pocket Camp right now. As always, a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our new Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment Pom Pom Purin. Just let me know you did, that'd be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you're actually buying any Sanrio fortune cookies. I'd be really interested to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.